Hi guys, I'm coming to you live from the shop today. So there's gonna be a little bit of background noise, a little bit of uh, normal customer interaction, a beautiful team in the background wrapping flowers and giggling away. Um, but that's gonna be part of the fun today. Um, today I'm gonna to do a beautiful little wedding bouquet of flowers that are in season at the moment. We're getting a lot of questions uh, about what's in season, what, we, what can we get for our weddings. Um, well, I'm gonna go through some of the product uh, that we're getting. I'm gonna put a little bit in, of everything in this bouquet so it can give you an idea of what you can do stylistic wise uh, to come uh, and make up your wedding bouquet for yourself or uh, you can ask your florist for the flowers that you're, we're talking about now. Um, so we've got some beautiful Australian um, olive, some pittosporum, and what I'm gonna do is just start laying those in my hand in the nest in a circle, just like that. I've got some beautiful Australian um, uh, umbrella fern. I'm just gonna give that, gives it a beautiful little whimsical fluff. Uh, and then I've got these beautiful Mondial rose. Um, if you're working in color tones, it's always better than working in varieties. If you're wanting a rose to fluff out, like you see in uh, some of the uh, wedding bouquets that you're seeing online and stuff like that, it's just holding it upside down and giving a twirl like that. You can see the little petals wanting to fluff out. And you can see how much that has opened up that rose there. These beautiful Lysianthus are a locally grown Lizzie. Spray roses are an import spray rose. We do have locally grown spray roses, um, so they're easily uh, to get as well, and you can use those in your bouquet. And I love using these little buds of the Lysianthus. We've got some beautiful imported peony roses. These have come out of Holland. So I'm just gonna start making that bouquet. I've got some beautiful little fragrant early cheers. These will give your bouquet a fantastic fragrance. The way that I'm wanting this bouquet to sit is more uh, top heavy and going down at the front, but I just gotta make sure at the end I just dress the back. Fluffing out that bouquet and that rose there and just layering them in a beautiful effect like that. What we're wanting to do is not to be too structured, feels like you've gone out into the garden and picked yourself a beautiful seasonal. I'm just giving it a little bit of height at the back there with a beautiful Australian snapdragon. I've chosen white once again, uh, just to keep in with the theme. And I love the throw of the green in that. Uh, these will continue to open and bloom, which are quite beautiful. So remember to give them space. With my Lysianthus, I'm using a lot of the buds as well, because I'm just wanting those to, to stick out the back there uh, and give it some uh, flow. Twirl it round. Put a pretty Lizzie in the front. I've got the early cheers. I've got peonies that have got a fragrance. It's really a stunning. With the umbrella, I normally just pinch the insides there. And I'm just going to lay I that to the front and move it around. And I'm going to do one more to the side. Just gonna snip off a little bit of this umbrella fern to use in a little bit of a buttonhole to match this bouquet. And then last but not least, got a little bit of structured camellia leaf just to pop in there. You can use a leaf shine to shine those up to make them beautiful. And then I'm gonna use this beautiful Italian Ruscus. You can cut that right down. And I'm just gonna pop some around the front. I'm gonna to... use your little hand to strip it. Now on the back of the bouquet, I'm just going to start layering. I'm gonna use the thick one and hold it all into place. I'm just gonna have a look there. What I want in this part here is a little bit more of this greenery just coming out. So it's a little bit more structured there, or unstructured, sorry. I'm just gonna lay that there at the back. Move that to the side. Uh, some people want them really long. I'm just going medium length. So it's not too short and doesn't look out of proportion. Give that a little clean. Stems are nice and clean. You can use a little bit of rope or ribbon, jute ribbon. Just tying it around, hand tying that there, and securing that all in place. Okay, so there we have a beautiful little hand tied uh, wedding bouquet. 
All you need to do now is finish that off with some ribbon. A little silk ribbon flowing down would be fantastic. Uh, you can wind a ribbon down the stems using pins. Pop it into place and then just secure it at the back. And when you're putting the pin in, just make sure you're facing the pin up and into the stems so it's not going to stab anybody. Nobody wants blood on a wedding dress. No. And then we're just going to wind it round. So that's tied there at the front. Doubling it over the ribbon at the back there. And we just go a double pin at the back, holding that in place. And I lie that down. Clean this ribbon up here. I'm just going to tie that. And that's just easily done there. Now you're looking very elegant, very beautiful. You can imagine yourself walking down the aisle. It's really easy to use. It's not uh, full at the back here, so you're not pushing that bouquet out the front. Your arms are quite natural, resting in an easy position. I think that's really important because you're gonna be holding this bad boy all day long. So make something for you that is really easy to use. That's not gonna hide your beautiful dress because that's where you're gonna spend your money. Um, remember to grab flowers that are in season. In season at the moment, peonies, spray roses. It is um, currently, I think the 28th of May. So in 2021, um, we've got lisianthus, umbrella fern, uh, camellia leaf, roses, early cheers, snapdragons. There is a ton of flowers available in Australia around this time of year. Um, if you're shopping colour tones and not specific flowers, that is 100% the way to go. That way you'll never be let down. You've got to have a good imagination. You'll trust your florists. Um, they are amazing creative people and they'll always deliver for you. So to go with that, I'm going to make you a little buttonhole. Okay, so um, just with the wire, you can get them in the 18 inch length or in the half length. I normally just cut it down uh, and try and get the most value out of my wire. Um, I'm just going to feed the wire up the stem of the spray rose, straight up through the head. Cut that down to there. Wind it round a little bit. It gives a little bit of integrity in the stem. It's just not gonna pass out uh, on you. I do see that sometimes in wedding flowers where the roses have given up all hope of life. I've got a couple of little camellia leaves that I've, I've used uh, from here. I've plucked two off that are in reasonable shape. Um, and have a good uh, gloss to them um, because you want that for your, your buttonhole for your, uh, for your groom. I've just got one, button, uh, one camellia leaf, lying the second one down on an angle that gives it a nice shape. So through the spines, feeding it through, there's double whammy there so you don't have to do individual leaves. You can do two, three, as many leaves together as you like. I'm also going to use this beautiful bit of ruscus Lying that down, just laying it on. I've got my pretty little rose here. I've got some lisianthus and a lisianthus bud. I'm going to use, I'm going to pop the lisianthus at the top. And of course I love the buds, so I'm going to pop the buds in there. just to give uh, the feel of the, uh, the bridal bouquet and that one there together, the same kind of look. Using the parafilm, I thought I'd cut some off before. All good. Just winding around the top and just over like that, all the way down. With parafilm, as I'm, as I'm working it, I'm pulling it gently. So um, some people ask, oh, I've got the parafilm. It's actually not sticky to each other. Um, I'm trying to wind it around, it just falls off itself. What you need to do as you go, you've got the heat and the warmth in your fingertips. As you walk go around, I'm actually just pulling it a little bit. You'll see that start to go a little bit uh, translucent there. So that's when you know you're doing a good job. And it'll start to stick to each other. Cutting the little stems off all at the same height. The most important part here for me on the buttonhole is to make sure if you've got any wires that they are not coming through the bottom and they're not going to catch uh, on the suits. So if you need to use a little bit more parafilm, do that, secure the job. So just once again, holding it in your hands and down the bottom, 
where you don't want that wire to pull any threads. Let's just go over and just with your hands, make sure it's nice and warm. And that is secure as can be. Now you can add a little bit of jute to that if you're wanting. Jute ribbon and you're just spinning it around on itself to give a little beautiful finish to that buttonhole. Snip that. That's where I'd use the hot glue or if you've got a craft glue just in there. I don't have that on me. Uh, and then you've got, um, so I'm just gonna pop a little pin in there for now. Hold it into place. And then you've got your little groom's buttonhole. Your bride's bouquet. You can do a much smaller version for your, uh, for your ladies, your bridesmaids. Um, but in the same structure. Keep it very loose, making sure it's not too structured um, and then you can go from there. Using flowers that are in season uh, is always better for the environment then we don't have to transship them across the world, uh, that sort of thing. So you, uh, think about those things when you're, you're wanting uh, what you want for your wedding. Anything that's seasonal is fantastic. We are supporting our farmers here in Australia. The product is amazing. They do an amazing job. There's nothing that we can't get that we don't want. All right, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to talk to you again soon.